I have a doozy of a team up for you guys this week. Hey everybody, welcome back to MPQ Mastery, where we help you destroy more gems. This week I have a new team up that I've been using for quite a while. It is so much fun to play, and I think you guys are going to really dig it. It is of the 4-star Wasp, that's the Janet Wasp, the 4-star Coulson, yes, another team using Agent Coulson, and the 4-star Captain Marvel. I know we just had the 5-star come out, but the 4-star is the one that's integral to this team up. I think you're going to really dig this team, so I can't wait to share it with you. But before I do, make sure to hit like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and make sure that you hit the bell notification so you always know when we put out a new MPQ Mastery video. All right, let's jump into it. Each of the characters on this team play an integral role in the balance of the team. So first let's go with the Wasp. Her four star version is actually my favorite of the two that are out right now, especially when you champion her and really build up her power. Her yellow power tactical intuition is amazing as it takes all the friendly strike tiles, turns them into protect tiles, all the friendly protect tiles, turns them into strike tiles and improves them all. It's a wonderful power and it is kind of the cornerstone to this team up. As is her blue power, that buzzing sound, which really helps this team keep the momentum going with their power synergy. Her black power wasp sting is good, but we really only use it for backup as most of the black AP is going to go to Captain Marvel. Speaking of Captain Marvel, let's talk about her now. Her black power photonic barrage puts a black countdown tile on the board, and every time it counts down one, it puts a strike tile on the board. When it reaches zero, it launches a massive attack. This one's pretty important for the combo as well, as it's a quick way to start getting strike tiles on the board. Her yellow power executive decision is also pretty good in a pinch if you really need to activate her photonic barrage. However, most of the yellow AP is going to be going to Wasp. Really, the passive ability on her yellow power is where the money is here, because every time a countdown tile reaches zero, she improves all friendly attack, protect, and strike tiles. Her green power energy manipulation is a passive power. It's helpful sometimes, sometimes not so much. It's fine, you don't really need it, but it is good that she represents green that makes green not a dead color. And then thirdly, we have Coulson. I addressed kind of what he brings to the table in my other video, but for this team up specifically, there's a couple of the abilities that are super important for him because he really clinches this team as a winner. His yellow ability, Call the Cavalry, obviously not really used in this combo that much because most of the yellow AP is going to Wasp, but it passively generates AP every time a countdown tile reaches zero, which is important, and that will happen a lot in this team up. His blue ability, Super Secret Tech, at level 5, and that's where I suggest you have that, his blue ability, Super Secret Tech, creates a one-turn countdown tile on the board every time an ally uses a power, which will also come into play a lot. And then his purple power, Best Laid Plans, deals damage, swaps tiles, and energizes them. Passively, it also can reduce countdown tiles to zero quicker than they would normally. His purple power is super important to this team up. Okay, now that we know the players, let's jump into the match strategy. The central strategy for this team is to build up as many protect and strike tiles as possible. You'll be constantly switching between them with Wasp and energizing them with Captain Marvel, obviously propelled by the Wasp, Captain Marvel, and Agent Coulson's all their passive abilities. So the first thing you want to do is start getting yellow and purple as quick as possible. The purple should be the primary because building up Agent Coulson's best laid plans is the quickest way to start generating a lot of AP quickly, especially since he can swap tiles to make exactly the matches you want, and also he energizes those tiles so it creates more AP than it normally would, in addition to dealing damage. But really, you want to focus on getting purple first, yellow second, black third, and blue as well, and whichever combination kind of makes the most sense. Because as soon as you have enough black, you want to launch Captain Marvel's Photonic Barrage. That's going to start putting strike tiles on the board. Once you have enough yellow, 
you want to use tactical intuition. If you already have some stride tiles on the board, then it'll turn those into protect tiles. Sometimes I wait until I have enough yellow AP to activate it twice in order to improve it once, switching it to protect, and then improving it again, switching it back to strike so I can hit really, really hard. When you have enough blue as well, that's when Wasp will put a one turn countdown tile on the board at the beginning of every turn. Meaning at the beginning of every turn, it's going to improve those attack and protect tiles because Captain Marvel does that every time a countdown tile goes to zero. So that's the main thing. Once you have at least a single friendly attack tile or protect tile on the board, activating any powers makes Coulson put one turn countdowns on the board as well. So you have multiple countdowns reaching zero every turn, meaning all of the friendly tiles on the board are gonna get boosted, boosted, boosted. You have Captain Marvel's Photonic Barrage tile. You have Coulson's tiles. Also, if he does call the cavalry, that's additional countdown tiles. And the Wasp has her that buzzing sound tile every turn. So you're gonna have multiples going. The best part on top of all of that is that every time a countdown tile gets to zero, Coulson is also generating AP for the team, which is super helpful to continue fueling all of the powers. This team does have a few drawbacks, just like any team, really. In this setup, red is a dead color, but if played correctly, you'll rarely even have to match any red. Another drawback is that none of these three characters necessarily have a high health pool, meaning if you go against some bigger enemies that can dish out lots of damage quickly before you can get your train going, Sometimes you can have some of the team members get taken out. And as I said at the beginning of the video, every member of this team is kind of important. There are also times when strategy can make it so that using Wasp's yellow power to switch the strike and protect tiles isn't a strategic advantage. So sometimes you end up sitting on some of that yellow AP because your enemy is about to launch a big attack. So you don't want to switch the protect to strike yet. There's a lot of different elements that kind of go into this team. But honestly, as soon as you get this team going, Going, it is an easy win, super quick. So is this a team that you guys have already discovered or is this brand new? Go try it out, let me know what you think down in the comments. Otherwise, don't forget to hit like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell notification so you know when we release new videos. You can also follow us on Twitter, at MPQ Mastery. And until next time, thank you for coming to MPQ Mastery. Go destroy some gems.